Hey, what's up? It is your girl, Beyonce Aloysius, Hot 107.9. And listen, we are in the trap right here. B story. I got my brother. You know this man from all over the place. The one and only legendary Gip from Goody Mob. And then also from the Dungeon family. Uh, what are we saying this? Like season two, generation two? What are we calling? Yeah, all the time, too. All the time, too. <laughs> Give it up for Sniper. Sniper is in the building. Shout out to Gip. You know it, Dungeon. You know how I go. All right. So, you know, first I'm going to start out Gip. You know, legendary Dungeon family. Of course, we've just uh, went through the whole 50 years of hip hop. You know, and did you? I was looking at the calendar when I was doing my research. Goody Mob dropped their first album. This year will be 29 years. How does that feel? Oh, that feels great. I mean, it just lets you know that um, time passes. You can't hold on to time, so make sure you do the best with it. And um, 29 years, Goody Mob, Soul Food. I'm appreciative. Thank you so much, L.A. Reed. And organized noise, man, if it wasn't for y'all, I would not be here. So, yeah, man, thank you so much. And, man, to be on this station right now with you because at the end of the day, y'all were the first yeah. station to ever play Goody Mob. We was the first song ever played on this station. So, Which for me, song was it? Cell Therapy. Cell Therapy, that was that, 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 that was the big drop, and we that's when uh, y'all Hot 97 was on Old Neck yes. in a field, oh my god, in, in, in a uh, in a trailer. What <laughs> you remember? So, and let me just tell you, like back then, and I I'm aging myself just a little bit, but I started when I was in high school. Okay, so this is you know we were all teenagers running around, you know, outcast, big boy. Like if you're born and raised in Atlanta, like we were, I remember riding through like. Um, uh, Washington Park and Adair Park and you know that cell therapy would come on and you know, that was back when you know UGK was hot but mm -hmm. cell therapy just hit different and the whole album I mean that was just such a movement for Atlanta so for the 30 first of all just when you look at the career and the influence on music and you think about cell therapy and, and just how much it meant to the city um, and that album what does it feel just when you look at music in Atlanta now I love it because at the end of the day, we got stars that are international now. It, you know, when we started, you know, it was like um, the success of Atlanta was like probably on one just one side. It was like in Decatur and it was like in on the south side. But now in, in, in the times we're living in now, Atlanta has become what New York is, what California yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a international superstar on every end of Atlanta right yeah. now. So I just feel like Atlanta is a city. We did what we were supposed to do. We came, we conquered, and we still here. That's what's up. And do you guys have any plans for the 30th anniversary, you know, next year? Uh, I, It's so many things going on, man. Like, we we traveled so much during last year, the last two years. Um, I know this year... We probably gonna do probably the Rock the Bells cruise and then probably we do, we going to Canada, um, probably to do the Drake thing. But you know, like for me personally, I just think that um, the 30 year anniversary. I just want all of us to get back on stage one more time. We gotta do. It. We need to take over like the Fox or like you know Centennial oh, okay. Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cent what we need Centennial Park. What yeah, are we gonna do? Yeah. No, what you wanna do? Uh, we gotta go where the Braves play it. We gotta go. We gotta go where the Braves Sun play. Trust Field? We gotta go to SunTrust Field. You gotta look, man. We already we sold out Centennial Park three nights in a row. That would be epic. So so we already kind of like did that. And now it's time to take it to the baseball field and see if we can sell out that diamond. I'm so with that. I I actually think that would be the perfect venue. Although I wish it was you know Turner Field back in Atlanta, you know. But I still think the Braves Field would be awesome. Now, as we talk about Dungeon Family and the movement, you know, next generation. Where did you find? I mean, he's from Atlanta, so I'm not gonna say he ain't from. But how did you find Sniper? And how did you you guys have a new single that you collabed on one two that is you know killing the charts everywhere? Um, how did you and Sniper link up? Uh, we, I, I was going to do an interview out at this restaurant, and he happened to be one of the owners of the television show that I was uh, wow. doing. <laughs> so it, he was just kicking it before, and, you know, they was talking to one of my other my, my other dudes, James Worthy at the time, and me, him, and, and Hitch, we just started having a conversation. And he was like, yo, OG, come to the studio tonight, and let's do a song. So we, I went to, uh, went to the north side, jumped in the studio with him, and... Man, in 48 hours, we had us a record, man. So, one, two, man. Snipe, Hits, Hits represent Alabama. Snipe represent the South Side. And, hey, man, the South, we still got something to say. Listen, listen. And now, Sniper, you know, 
coming in. I mean, you've been doing. I've I've known Sniper for um, over de- over two decades. But listen, you know, w- now that you're working with uh, somebody as legendary as Gip, and even the people that you have on your 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 team, like Sylvia Rohn and, and some of those other big names, how does it feel about being a part of such a, a legendary group um, and family like Dungeon? Um, it's an honor, you know. It's 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 more so an honor because, um, you know, Gip as legendary as he is, like, uh, what is it, uh, Sky High? Yeah. I, I I spoke with him about how growing up that record, like one of my favorite records. Oh my gosh! I listened to that record over and over again as a kid uh, on the cassette tape. Even when it messed up, I went and bought it again. <laughs> so it was just real historical. Um, just to, you know, connect with them and for us to connect how we were, like, you know, and shot, he brought me to Organize Noise, shot to Organize Noise, um, can't leave that out, and it was an honor to work with them, um, and we got a lot of, a lot of historical uh, hit records that we made, and it just kind of joined us together, you know, we created a, a potion, and, you know, here it is. The Legacy, of course, now, Sniper, uh, you've got this single out, what's your next single coming out after this, after one, two? Um, we have um, a very, very nice one. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm going to keep that in the can, but it'll be exposed here with Beyonce. Oh, okay. You know, I got the exclusives. You know, and, you know, when you talk about music and influence, um, who would you who would you say influenced you the most coming out of Atlanta? Um, influence, I would say you got to say the, the Dungeon Outcast Goody Mob. Um okay. Um, and you can't leave out that. But, you know, I grew up with Young Thug and um, a lot of other, like Pee Wee Longway, you know, from East Point on the other side. I mean, it's the South Side. So I feel like, you know, I couldn't fit with no other mm. party other than being with the legends of the South Side and then have, a, you know, OG expertise like Gip uh, that can do a lot of mentoring and do a lot of things that he done seen before that I haven't. So it's just a, it's just a good thing um, to have that that, you know, leadership. That's what I would say. Um, so I couldn't say too many people because, as you know, I've been here for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of people I know um, and I work with and been um, in the studio I have honored to uh, got a lot of records with, such as Chris Brown, um, yeah. a lot of people. So just being at place at home with, the, uh, with you know, the South Side legends and, you know, me being from that side of town, I, I, it's no other way but to say Goody Mob in the dungeon. Okay, so we're, I'm going to ask you, like, some, you know, pop culture things. All right, Mike Tyson or Jake? Girl, I went to the Mike Tyson. <laughs> Look, I went to the Mike Tyson last fight in uh in Memphis. And when he fought Lennox Lewis, I think. Boy, and I'm talking about, hey, man, Mike hit hard. Man, I was sitting up in the nosebleed, and I could hear them punches. So, you know, I just hope Buddy ready. I hope it real K got, got enough stamina cut. It looked like on some of these little clips I'm seeing, I'm like, bro, Mike still throwing them like he 25, oh. So, hey, man, you know, they talking about the man got to, he get to do a tag team with his brother so he could tag his brother in. I'm like, bro, y'all about to see two people get whooped on the same night. (laughs) I saw the video clip of, like, Mike Tyson at 16 versus, like, Jake Paul, like, dancing. I was like, oh, y'all better not give Mike his meds. I mean, he's, it's it's gonna be something serious. Right. Okay. (laughs) Sniper, what do you think about the Falcons' new quarterback pick? Because we're all Falcons fans because we're all from Atlanta. So, you know. I just want to see what they're going to do. Um, I, I want to see what they're going to do. I'm, I can't say hey or nay, but, I mean, I feel like it, it could have been a better pick. Okay. Gip, who has the best chicken wings in Atlanta? Uh, Churches. Churches. Hey man, hey. I'm surprised you didn't say like American Deli at the West End with the lemon pepper sprinkle. Oh, like it's that's a place on, I ain't gonna, it's a place on Boulder Crest. They got some real good wings <laughs> called King Atlanta Wings in the hood. But hey, them wings be good and they not too big because you know we don't like real big wings. Extra crispy flats, you know. I'm, I'm still going with American. Okay, what is the best soul food restaurant in Atlanta? And I'm going back to that. Hey man, churches ain't nobody got my. I, I like my meat big. I want big meat. I don't want no little skinny meat. So look. <laughs> what happened here? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, sniper, best soul food restaurant in Atlanta. Hey, you know, it's a place over there on Bankhead, on the west side. Uh, 
uh, soul food restaurant right over there in the plaza. Um, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with um, Bankhead Soul Food. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with that. Okay. Let me get, let me get, this is gonna. You, you we're go gonna call this possible moments. You gotta go. You gotta give. This is it. They props, man. This is it. This Shout is out it. To Telly. Hey man, y'all brothers, man, y'all have really done it for Atlanta, man. And you know, I, th th hey man, that sweet potato, that sweet potato souffle, oh that's him, God. that's him right there, man. Turkey, okay. chops. <laughs> Turkey chops with the cabbage, and this is it. Mm -mm. That's that's good too as well. Gravy on the side. Them green beans be hitting that green beans in the mac. I could just do the sides. I don't even need the meat. They can have the meat. They because he likes his meat extra juicy and big. He, big, you cannot say that. <laughs> Big Gip says big meat, like, stop saying that. Big things, 2024. Okay. Okay, and speaking of big things, you know, one thing I love, because, you know, if COVID didn't teach us anything, it taught us how to be an entrepreneur. I mean, you know, layoffs all over the country, people not being able to work. I mean, all of a sudden, it's like, how do I make money? And I think people are, I think people have been like, I want to say asleep for a long time of like just, you know, going to the nine to five, getting a check. And if COVID taught a lot of people, it taught them how to bring the hustle out of them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one thing about both of y'all, I know for a fact, is you've always had hustle. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a Taurus, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a I'm hustler. Tourist. Hustler. When's your birthday? April 28th. Uh, you April Taurus. April 28th. May 2nd. What are we doing for our birthday? Everything. Okay, I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> possible moments. That's what we're going to call this uh, little little po podcast, possible moments. All right. Um, you just named it. Thank you. I appreciate this. Um, now, you, you've jumped into the Gips goodies. I love this. So, CBDN. Now, CBN. I've never heard of the N. So, t tell us about Gips goodies and what does a CBN mean? All right, CBN. CBN is a part of the plant, the actual plant. Mm -hmm. So, when you smoke cannabis, you know the part that makes your eyes heavy? Mm -hmm. and, and and you want to get sleepy, mm -hmm. that's that's CBN in the actual plant. So what I did is took that CBN out and I put that into a gummy. Mm. And, and and when you take these gummies 15, 20 minutes later, you down. It's just it's almost just like you smoked the blunt. But it's all the way clean, no no THC in it. You can pass any test. And that's just one of my 40 products. You know what I mean? I also got that in a syrup too, in a blue rash that you can pour into your drink. Yeah. And you can go to sleep off that also. And, you know, I just want to let y'all know we just went live with, with KushCon. So now I'm on a Kush national. Con. Yeah, it's Kush.com. Okay. You can go on there. You can order Gips Non-Alcoholic Spirits. That means I took the the the, the vodka, bourbon, brandy, um, uh, tequila. I took all of that. Tastes just like it, but I took the alcohol out and I infused it with cannabis. So wow. when you drink this, it tastes ex exactly like your favorite drink. But for the smokers, it's the it's it's how it feel when you smoke that that wow. that exotic. So your body just high. You never lose consciousness. Your equilibrium never get messed up. And I look at it like this. This is a place where you know the older we get, alcohol was making me sick. Yes. It was starting to make me sick and yep. feel bad. So I said, no, nah, let's take the alcohol out and put cannabis in it. Mm. So when I'm smoking and I'm drinking, I call that smoking drinking because it's both fueled by cannabis. And I'm never out of my mind. I can drink all three. I can drink dark, white, and and some pina colada, and I never get sick. Why? Because it's not alcohol. It's cannabis infused. So that's it's just the new world. I want y'all, if you can go on my Instagram, you'll see shopkushcon.com. You can go on there and you can get a six pack sent to your house nationally. So that's just the beginning. We also have a hemp vodka called Bliss that's coming out, and we have a touch vodka that's already in three states. And I start a Blitz next month, like April the 14th. I'll be in four cities in Tennessee, and it's just gonna keep going until it's all it's, it's national. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to do an event called Who's Hot, and we need y'all to sponsor it because this is definitely your clientele. I need y'all to start making these in uh, kid versions because I am a mom, and let me tell you, when they go to their dad's yeah, house, the whoop, the I ain't going to get these to kids. Yeah, I'm not going to get I'm not finna get these to my kids. I, for everybody watching out there, I'm not going to give these to my children. This is for me when the kids go out of town to go to grandma and grandpa's or their dad's house or something like that. Now, <clears throat> Sniper. You are the ultimate hustler. I saw you on Instagram with bags of gold beads. What is this? Well, 
Well, I was I was crowned a king. Give um, me some gold, please. Uh, about a year ago today, uh, nominated as one of the kings in a lot of different villages around the world. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we inherited mines uh, such as gold bars, so we are working on something to create our own currency for um, the lower income where we have bars, not just such as bars. We have nuggets, and those are gold nuggets. Um, those come in like half a gram. Um, sizes to where, and those bags are kilo bars. And I'm a legal broker, by the way. When you say kilo, we're talking kilos of gold. Right. Okay. We're not talking about the other. <laughs> this is not snowfall. I know we've already had possible moments, but this is this is not snowfall. Okay. So, yeah. well, we have that, and what we're doing is working on creating. We have a flamingo bar that we're creating that we're going to do. Flamingo. Yeah. Is it like pink gold? Well, yeah, we should do strawberry gold. Um, it's like a rose gold kind of tap. Um, well, you've seen the 24 karat always um, in person and on there. But we have something where we're doing it, where we have, we'll be launching a promotion line where it's affordable for everybody due to the economy, how the paper is losing value. Um, we want to change it to where um, you guys can afford to have, you know, financial wealth for your kids, uh, as well as establish the trust accounts and let the money be stable. And the goal is one way to do it. Love it. Okay, so get... For aspiring artists out there, you know, uh, we always want to leave people with, like, with uh, some type of advice. I get hit in the DM so much. For people out there who are like, yo, man, I have always wanted to be in music, what would you say the best piece of advice you could give somebody? The more you know, the less you got to ask for. Mm. And that's just because of the knowledge, because of where the game is now. It's not, it's not just a... Uh, it's not the same game. The game has just changed again. You know what I mean? So the the game is going digital, everybody. That's why they're cutting out all the middlemen in the music business. But it's great because I look at it like we're cutting out all the middlemen. That means the black ball stuff, that stops. If you pay your way and you got a great worker, you can go and you can go as far as you want to go. I just think that the game now has just cut out the middleman where if you go straight to the to the source and you got a great record, you'll have a, a, a better chance of, of being able to reach people now. But at the same time, too, you're going to have to hustle a lot harder because with we're, we're not having the subsidiaries with people to help you move around, you know, reach children, reach a greater audience, you have to do more of the work yourself. So that's what it's about now. I think the music business is going to be all about for the future, you being able to get up for yourself and you going to work and you making sure that the things that you need to do to take care of yourself and your records, you have to do it. Love it. And, you know, Sniper, with you being from the South Side and hustling for as long as you have, you know, this is this is actually a really inspirational story because, I mean, you have been grinding for, for many, many years, putting your own money into it, investing into yourself, making sure that you put out a quality project. What would you say your best advice for someone who has been doing it for a long time, doesn't think they're ever going to get a break, and then, you know, on that borderline of like, you know what, I don't I don't know if this makes sense for me anymore? Um, I can say patience is one word that I can gain from it, but be determined and persistent. Because you could be consistent and you cannot be doing anything, but just be precise and consistent at the same time. Persistent. And make sure your moves add up. And always know that, you know, you need to believe in yourself when nobody else do. So when you get another itch from somebody else who do believe in you, thrive off that energy and keep it pushing. Because sometimes we need a reset moment. And one of the 48 laws of power, never be afraid to recreate yourself. So sometimes you have to recreate yourself a little bit and shout at Sylvia wrong for believing in me when nobody else did, um, and as well as Gip and Dungeon Family. And, um, you know, last but not least, single, one, two, make sure you go download it. When is the album dropping? Video. Video. Sorry, video will be dropping mid next month. Uh, we shooting it in a tropical place. Ooh, so you gonna, Yes, you are. Okay. And Gip, anything else you want to leave with? How can people follow you? Hey, man, find, follow me on GipGoodie.com. Love is love, man. Y'all pay attention and, and keep living, man. Life going to take care of you. I'll see y'all soon. How can people follow you? I Sniper, I-S-N-Y-P-A, Ray Talk Music. Let's get it. I am your girl, Beyonce Aloysius from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. This has been Possible Moments, named by Gip, because he likes... Big Meat. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Beyonce ATL. <laughs> Make sure you get your birthday bash tickets. Birthday bash, June 22nd. Lotto and friends. Let's go.